Students come to Middlebury from a wide range of backgrounds, different countries, different cultures, and different schools. But Middlebury students all have one important thing in common. They're smart. Middlebury's admissions staff has already determined that each of you is totally capable of academic success at Middlebury. Remember them? They're smart too, and they're actually really good at their job. Another thing you all have in common is that you are all adjusting to a new academic environment at Middlebury. For some of you, this environment may feel a lot like what you experienced in high school. And when you need help, which you will, you'll know how to find it. But for most of you, Millibury's workload, academic culture, and expectations are new and unfamiliar. And when you need help, which you will, you may not be sure where to look. One thing you'll learn about Millibury is that our students like to help each other. So we asked some current students to talk about their academic transitions to Middlebury so that all of you can hear from them about what they found helpful when they were in your shoes. Like all of you, these students had high expectations for themselves, but they also had a lot of questions and a lot of fears. I thought it was going to be hard. I remember wondering if I was going to make it all four years. I was very nervous about what classes I was going to take and what I wanted to do with my time here, so I spent a lot of time that summer planning on my class schedule, um, like years in advance. Um, for me, I came from a public education school system, so transitioning from that into a private institution was difficult. I was actually trying to focus more on like, what sports am I going to be doing? Like, what class am I going to be joining? <laughs> and then I come here and it's like, registration and you have to pick your classes. <laughs> For some of them, the first challenge they came across was class registration. I came in to Middlebury wanting to do economics, um, but because of registration, I didn't manage to get into the class, um, and so I ended up trying computer science. You know, I was <laughs> like, all right, let's you know, let's try what this is, and then I ended up taking a class called Intro into Computer Animation, and it's probably now going to be my career for the rest of my <laughs> life. Some students did get the classes that they wanted. But then they discovered that they didn't love the path as much as they thought. I was always the person that I thought I needed to have like the next five to ten years of my life figured out. I'm going to be an IP and E major with a focus in East Asia. And basically I started off doing that and I realized that wasn't for me and that hit me kind of hard. I'm not going to necessarily be following the path that I thought I would initially. That can be a little unnerving. But discovering an unexpected academic path can also be exciting. I've always been like, all right, this didn't work out. Mid probably has something better to offer. 